Hey guys, Kassan Frelly here. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can redesign your card page using Elementor Pro. Now you can see here I have this card page. This card page is what comes up by default when you install WooCommerce on your WordPress installation. I have redesigned this card page using Elementor Pro without using any additional plugins such as WooLentor or any other plugin that's are available in the market. So if you have Elementor Pro and you want to learn that how you can redesign your card page from this to something like this, then without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is to go back to your dashboard in your WordPress website. And once you are in your dashboard, make sure you have Elementor Pro installed in your extensions section you can see i have elementor pro install up to the latest version that is 3.8.0 so once you have elementor pro install and make sure you have woocommerce installed as well and you have some of the products already uploaded in your woocommerce there once you will meet all of these requirements the next things that you want to do is to go to this pages section and once in the pages section as we are seeing this card page so i'll click on this edit button here that is modifier don't worry about the language of this thing you will understand what i'm doing here you will see a button that will say edit with elementor simply click on that button in my case i already have this template using elementor so i'll simply click on modifier with elementor here so once I'll click on add it with Elementor button, you will notice that Elementor page builder now has started loading there. Now you can see we have this card page that I already designed. So what I want to do is to get rid of what I already have there. So in your case, you will have this blank section with just a text editor with a short code in it, in it there. So what you want to do is to get rid of that short code from here and then in the search bar, you will search for cart and in the cart you will choose this widget that says cart so simply drag this widget in this blank area as you can see the site language is now fine but the content on this section is in francis language so don't worry about the language we are looking through these settings here all right so here you can see the very first thing that you have is this layout options in this layout options you have one column layout if you will choose one column it will look something like this and if you'll choose two column layout it will look like this so i want to use this two column layout here then here you have this order summary tab in the order summary tab you can see it's saying update cart so update cart is basically this button that you are seeing here if you want to change the text for this button you can change it here so maybe you want to change it to update simply so you can remove the card part and now you can see we have update only here so i'll add back the card here and then you have some option to adjust the alignment you can align it towards the center towards the end or you can make it justify that is however you want in my case i'll keep it towards the start then you have this coupon if you want to enable the coupon just keep them on show otherwise you can hide this tab as well the same thing you have the option to change the text for this coupon here so you can change the text for this button and then you have option to change these alignments as well for now i'll keep the coupon just the way it is then you have this total tab that is the card total you are seeing here the card total you can change the alignment of this title as well now after that you have this update shipping button title so you can change the text here for the button and then for the checkout you can change the text for this button as well and then after that obviously you have option to change the alignments of the button as well so i'll keep it to justify here and then you have some additional option if you want you can enable the update card automatically and then whenever a new item will be added in the card here on your store it will automatically get updated on this card page then one more thing that you have is that you can customize the empty card as well if you want but in my case i want to keep it just the way it is so in the style tab you can see we have this section options first of all where you have option to choose the background color so for example 
if I choose one of my global colors, let's say this color, you can see now we have different color in the background, but I want to use the white color. So I'll go with the white color that was already there. Then you have this box shadow option. If you want, you can add the box shadow. I'll reduce the opacity of box shadow here. So that we have a very slightest shadow there. Now, if you want, you can add the border. So if I choose a solid border and add some width to the border, you can notice that we have slightest border here. If I increase the value of border, now it is visible more. So I'll keep it to two pixels and then I want to reduce the colors and make it more transparent. All right. Next up we have is the border radius option. In the border radius, I'll make it 40 pixels. And now you can see we have this 40 pixel border radius here and then we have option to add the padding and margin i won't do anything with the padding and margin i want to keep it just the way it is the next option that we have is this typography options here first of all we have the option to change the typography for the titles so i want to use the green color for the titles so if i choose green color you can notice that here the color is updated so if i change the font and I want to go with this font and if I change it instead of 26 if I make it 32 pixels you can notice that this size of the title is changing and then the next thing that we have is to change the description I want to change this color to something like this and you can notice here the color is updated then you can adjust the spacing as well that's the way you want and then you have option to change the colors for the links as well so these are the links here i want to change the colors so probably like this black color here and now you can see if i add the hover as the red color if i hover with these you can see we have these colors here then you have radio button options here if you want you can add the video button colors for now i want to change the typography here so i'll make it 16 pixels so maybe you will notice that if i reduce the font size you can see this becomes smaller and if i increase the font size this become bigger and then i can change the font color to the red color so this one is actually a radio button here then we have an option for the forms if i click on forms and if i increase the row cap because there we have a form so that's why the row gap is increasing don't worry about this if i will add a border here you will be able to check the form fields so i'm adding a background color and then i want to reduce the opacity of border and then I want to add a border radius for 40 pixels. Something like this. Alright. So next up. Well, uh, so this is for the normal field. For the color you can see this one is currently transparent. If I want to add a background color. I'll add this and it will change the color for this title. So for the background I'll click on this. And then I want to add this color as the background. And now you can see we have this color here. This is very solid color. I want to go with the lighter color here. So now you can see we have this lighter color as our background color. So I want to add this black color as the font color. And now we have this as a font color. I want to add the font size to 16 pixels. Or probably like 14 pixels here. All right. So next up we have the option to add the focus color if you want but i think i don't want to add a focus color here this is looking just fine the next up we have is this button options so in the button option first of all i want to change the background color to the green color and then after that i want to reduce the width of border to zero pixels and i want to add the border radius of 40 pixels here after that what i want to do is to change the font color to the white color and then i want to change the font itself to a different font 
after that i want to change the font color and the background color so i'll make this background as the red background whenever i hover over it should change to red color and then i want the text color to be white color so now if i hover over you can see it is a red color after that we have this order summary option here if i click on this this one is actually the order summary here so here i have the option to add the row gap i can adjust the row gaps here so maybe like 35 pixels of row gap and then i can adjust the typography here so i'll change this size to 18 pixels so here you can see at the top this is in 16 pixels now and then for the item item color i want to keep it black i already changed that just i want to change the font sizes just to make it 16 or probably 17 pixels this one looks fine and then you can adjust the same thing for variation for the variation i'll go for 16 pixels for now i don't have any variations so i'll not bother with it a lot then we have these product links so for the product links for the normal i want to keep it black and for the hover i want to keep it red so these product links for the normal they are black and for the hover they are of red color then for the divider i can increase the weight of a divider just like this and i can also adjust its transparency here after that we have this quantity borders for the quantity borders it is looking just fine i won't change it a lot and then we have remove icon which is this one so i want to change it to a red color now you can see this is in the red color then for the totals this total tab here you can see we have this option for the row gap this is actually the row gap between these one two three elements here so you can adjust the row gap here after that you can change the color for the titan if i change it to black color you can see this black color is changing here and then we can adjust the typography to something like 20 pixels so it should be a bit bigger than the other text that we have and then we have divider total option here i can adjust the weight of a divider here in the bottom and then i want to reduce the opacity just like this after that we have this checkout button for the checkout button i want to have the same color as of this one so first of all i'll click on this and then i'll change the color to the green color and then for the hover i want to change the color to the red color so if i hover it over now it's almost the same other than that i want to add the border radius of 40 pixels and now you can see this is almost the same the only thing that i want to do is to add the similar font so now you can see we have the same fonts here and now if i update this so this is how basically you can redesign your cart page of woocommerce using elementor pro i hope you have learned something new in this tutorial if you have learned something new please consider subscribing to my youtube channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so that you will never miss an update whenever i upload a new video thank you very much i'll see you in the next video